Hello, this is Eloisa with Math Leopard, and welcome to the major trumps of the tarot, the Fool. The Fool is seen as a prototypical Hans Guckendi Luft, with his head held high, seemingly ignoring the mundane dangers which present themselves momentarily. However, this card can be looked at in two ways. The Fool is placed either at the beginning of the tarot deck as card zero, or near the end as card 21. If we look at the position of the Fool on the Tree of Life, his path is that between Kether and Chochmah, the crown or source, and wisdom, respectively. This path is numbered 11, or the first path beyond the ten Sephirot. There are three groups of Hebrew letters. There are three mother letters, seven planetary letters, and 12 zodiacal letters, numbering 22 in total. The mother letters are Aleph, corresponding to the element of air, Mem, to the element of water, and Shin, to the element of fire. The Fool is either attributed to Aleph, that is, intellect or air, or he's attributed to Shin, spiritual fire, in a sense, the Alpha and the Omega of life's journey. When venturing out from Source towards Wisdom, he is associated with Aleph and the descent into the folly of the gods, which is worldly wisdom. The path from Chochmah back to Kether represents the apparent folly of the world, casting aside mundane wisdom and wealth for the glory of union with God. The Fool treads a delicate path between these two extremes, and it is a very perilous one. We see that his heart is good, as he doesn't shoo away the dog at his heel. Yet his faith in God to save his physical existence may very well lead him off a cliff. The Fool represents a struggle to attain a balance between the two extremes, being a fool in the eyes of God or being a fool in the eyes of his fellow man. This path leads to insanity if not traversed with caution. From below, we have the endeavor of the fool to become learned in life. From above, we have the grace of God bestowed upon his innocent heart, the perfect balance of which produces in his soul the philosopher's stone, the attainment of which facilitates his transition from scholar into sage, and his initiation from magician into mystic. The contents of the bag on his shoulder are the tools of the magician, the chalice, sword, rod, and disc, material wealth eschewed for spiritual growth and ultimate reunion with source. This is the alchemical iroscomos between the sun and the moon, between philosophy and theology. Thanks for playing and I'll see you next time.